to show you how to make a mini base. Once my clay is centered, I use my finger and open up the clay by pressing it into the middle. I pull out the walls by hooking my finger toward my body. Once it's open, I pull up the walls by supporting the inner wall with one finger and squeezing the clay from the bottom up in the shape of a cone. Wet your fingers so that the clay is slippery and will pull more evenly. Once the walls are at your desired height, apply light pressure using your fingers to narrow the hole and create a neck for your vase. Trim the bottom of the clay with an angled tool to give the vase a rounded bottom. Refine the shape of your vase using the metal trim tools, wooden shaper tools, or metal rib. Collar the vase one more time to narrow the neck. Using the wooden needle, smooth out the neck and gently open the mouth of the vase and smooth with a sponge. At this stage, the clay is too wet to trim, so I'll set it aside to dry. Because the mouth of the vase is delicate, I can't trim my vase upside down as I would on other pieces. To do this, I can make a chuck. Start with a donut-shaped piece of clay in the center of the wheel. Using your wooden needle, cut away an outer wall and an inner wall where your vase can comfortably rest. Collar your chuck and use a safety pin to cut away any unevenness. Allow your chuck to dry. Once the chuck is leather hard or dry, place your face upside down into the chuck. Begin trimming the foot as you normally would. Using my metal trim tool, I'll make a ring where I want to trim the inside of the foot and use that to guide how much I take out. For the outside of the foot, mark a ring again and do the same. Thank you for watching!